What's up guys? It's Felicia with Have Live After Living. Today is November 25th, the day after Thanksgiving. And oh my gosh! First of all, I hope you guys enjoy your holiday. But today we have a few things to chat about. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my holiday bloat. We're gonna talk about this week's weigh-in. Not even this week's weigh-in. Like I weighed in the day after Thanksgiving and oh my gosh, I can even see it here. Chubby cheeks, your girl is retaining all kinds of fluid. But anyways, so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys five quick tips that I plan to do in order to get rid of this holiday bloat. So you guys know that here on my channel, I have put myself into a maintenance mode. The goal was to maintain 216 pounds throughout the end of the year, and then I was going to like restart my um, journey. Then I was gonna restart my journey like back in January. But here, you guys, I weighed in this morning and your girl is two, I put it here, 222.6. Yeah, so we got work to do. But first let me go ahead and warm up and then I'll jump in and out and share some tips with you guys. And I hope you enjoy this video. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view Alright guys, so here in this workout What I'm currently doing are some interval training um, I'm basically like rotating between like run, walk, jog intervals because basically I have a lot of glucose slash glycogen um, that my body has stored up from yesterday because I did partake in a lot of sugary foods. So my goal for today's workout is basically to burn through those sugar stores. Like so I mixed it up a little bit doing like some hit training. That's what you guys see here. And then today I also did weight training because I felt that, you know, the muscles can kind of like use some of that glycogen as well. So that's what we're doing in today's workout. All right guys, so my first tip for you is number one, like recognize that the chances of the weight that you've gained from the holiday more than likely is not all fat. Like it's almost nearly impossible to have gained all fat like overnight or just within a few days. It's very likely that a large percentage of the weight that you've probably gained is water weight. However, many of us tend to retain water or fluid a lot longer than others. So that brings me to my second point. All right guys, so my second tip is to be realistic about your timeline. So you guys know that when I said I was pausing my weight loss journey, my goal was to maintain 216 pounds um, throughout the end of the year. I wanted to wake up like going hard in January, still at 216 pounds. So currently 222.6. So technically I have about like five weeks or so in order to get back down. So definitely give yourself a realistic timeline because as I said, some people's bodies, even if it's just water, even if it's water weight, like some people's bodies just retain, some people are like me, and your body just retains fluid a lot longer than others, but it's okay, you got this. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like I'm tired. All right, so my third tip for you guys is do not skip workouts. You know what? Like somebody got to be the one to tell you this. Like there is no way that you can expect to eat all the holiday foods, do all the things you want to do, like excessive calories, shorter fasting windows, um, longer eating windows and think that you ain't gonna gain weight. Like somebody got to be your friend and just tell you, "Boo, you setting yourself up for failure." So do not skip those workouts, all right? Whatever that workout looks like for you, don't skip the workout because not only does it help as far as like burning calories, using up glycogen like I'm doing today, trying to burn through a lot of this excess glucose glycogen because the muscles love it, um, but also it's really good for stress relief. And during the holidays, it tends to get crazy with all of the events, parties, etc., crazy family members. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So don't skip those workouts unless unless you want to carry the excess weight the holiday fluff into 2023 then do you boo do you I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If it tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. 
All right, guys. My fourth tip for you, which is something that I will be doing as well. You guys know your girl loves her coffee, loves her coffee. I'll still have it, but you gotta hydrate. Drink lots of water. However much you're drinking now, drink more of it. Because if you're gonna be eating like all of these, you know, cheap foods that are full of like sugar and processed foods and all of that, at least do your body a favor and flush out those toxins. Like help your body with this whole filtration system. Give it some extra water to flush out those toxins. Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Alright guys, and my fifth and final tip for you is that if you do intermittent fasting like me, then I would suggest, you can do what you want, but I would suggest that you shorten your eating window as well as maybe increase your fasting window. Because here's the deal, if like me, you decided you're going to eat whatever the heck you want to eat, <laughs> At least eat it in a short time frame. That way, at least your body's not like spiking insulin all day. And if you shorten your eating windows, then naturally it will also decrease the amount of calories that you're having as well. This is how much hot sauce I love. And my niece just told me how nasty it was. <laughs> Alright guys, so I am back home. Oh my gosh, I ate so much food. So I'm gonna say hi. So today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing though. <laughs> Stalker alert. <laughs> you guys, we've got a stalker. Hi, sir. Are you watching me? <laughs> Alright, guys, if you made it this far in the video, I need to like finish my workout. I need to edit and upload this and get it out today. Alright, guys, I hope that you found these tips to be helpful. If you're new here, please, I would love it. Love it if you would subscribe. For you guys that are for all of my returning subscribers, if you guys can do me a favor and play some of my videos that you haven't watched yet in the background, I'm really close to 4,000 watch hours to where I can finally be monetized here on YouTube. I enjoy sharing a lot of this content. So far, it's all been free. And yeah, I would love to get paid moving forward in 2023. So please do that for me. I appreciate you guys so much. I thank you guys for continuing to come back and watching my videos. And as always, if you have topics you want to chat about drop them down in the comment section dm me on instagram facebook you know where to find me yeah so don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye